What's going on everyone? It's John from the Optech channel coming at you today with a little unboxing and demonstration of the Razer Firefly. Yes, this is a mouse pad with chroma lighting, so I thought this looked pretty sweet. This is the kind of thing that would make a really cool gift for someone that's really into their setup, and I think will be a nice addition to my setup, aesthetically speaking. So without further ado, let's unbox this, take a look at it, and look at the different lighting effects you can do with this Razer Firefly. I'm just gonna pull the plastic off here. Okay, here we have it in all its glory. So we have what comes with the Razer products, we have the congratulations letter signed by this, the co-founder and CEO. It's a very spacious mouse pad and it does have micro texture to it. So I'll bring it up close so you can see here. And it's got that Razer logo. And here you can hear the sound of, with my fingers going across it. And hopefully you can see the texture. So we also have the gold-plated USB plug. That's pretty cool, definitely very premium. And the back has a rubber texture you can see here. So it's definitely not gonna be moving around because uh, the whole thing is rubber and texture. So it's gonna be very, very stationary. And we have here the guide, the stickers. So pretty much, you know, everything you'd expect to come with a mouse pad. So without further ado, let's plug this in. Let's get this mouse pad going. Let's check out those cool lighting effects. We are doing the Spectrum cycling lighting effect on the Razer Death Adder Chroma, as well as the Razer Firefly mouse pad. So it looks pretty sweet to me. And if you had a Razer Chroma keyboard, you could also be matching that lighting effect. So let me just go through the different lighting effects uh, that they offer in the Razer Synapse software. So clicking here on the Razer Firefly, I wanna try, well Wave is obviously like a super popular one. And that just looks amazing. And it, it's kind of dark in here, but if it was night, it would really, really look super sick. So let's try, um, or Reactive is my second favorite. And I think that's pretty cool. Right now I have it set on duration short and brightness to hot, to very bright, or to bright. And I think it's cool because if you're playing a game, I like check that out. Like every time you click, I have it set to red, but every time you click, it's gonna be doing, it's gonna be doing that and you can set, you know, you can have the duration longer and then it kind of fades out. I like it short, I think that's really cool because, you know, when you're, when you're playing and clicking, it just adds like a whole, a whole nother element aesthetically to when you're gaming in the real world as well to have your mouse pad react to what you're doing. I think it's really cool. So let's try it, let me, put a let me do a different color just to see what it looks like, yellow or just that, that's the green that's really popular, or white, I mean, to, to match, if I wanted everything to match. About the texture, the mouse, you hear a little bit of noise, but it feels it feels really good, and it moves very, it moves quicker than it does on a soft mouse pad, so I might turn the DPI down a little bit, but it still tracks really well, it's really accurate, so two thumbs up on this mouse pad, and it feels, it feels comfortable, it's kind of cold to touch, so I like that, um, so if you're, you know, if you're, get, if you're getting hot, or like in the heat of the battle, and your hands are sweating, then this, this kind of cold textured material is actually, actually feels kind of nice to have your hands on. All right, everyone, that concludes this unboxing and demonstration of the Razer Firefly. I'll leave a link in the description below if you are interested in going with this mouse pad. And guys, let me know what you think of this mouse pad. Is it worth $60? Because I could go either way on this because it does look really sweet and it does add a lot to your setup. Aesthetically speaking, those lights look really cool. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't like it, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. This is John from the Off Tech Channel. I will catch you guys in the next video.